Hello, my name is Hyun, and today I'm going to tell you about Sok Ju Jun Ho, and I'm going to be your commentator for today. This place is Sok Ju Jun Ho, which means the stone house. How do you think about it? I think it looks a lot like a Greek temple. It was designed and built by a British architect named Harding. Look at this picture! It has luxurious pillars, looking like a horn of a sheep, which is the Ionic Order. And the insides are very fancy, using the Rococo style. On the front of Sok Ju Hall, as you can see, there's a plum blossom, which is the symbol of the Korean Empire. Emperor Gojong, I think, would have thought of a very powerful Joseon looking at the plum blossom. As you can see, this building is a three-story building. On the first floor, there is a place where the officials lived and prepared. On the second floor, there is a dining hall for banquets and a waiting room. On the third floor, third, third floor there is a living quarter for the emperor and the empress. Now, let's go up to the third floor and look at this picture. Here is a picture of two bedrooms. Which bedroom do you think would be the Empress? The red one or the gold one? That's right, the gold one is where the Emperor have used. Emperor Gojong almost never used this place because when it was built, the Japanese invasion started. So when the crown prince returned from Japan, he, the crown prince, use this place sometimes. After independence, the US-Soviet Joint of Commission was held here to discuss about the establishment of Korean government because after the independence, Korea was being ruled by US and the Soviet Union. After the Korean War, it was damaged and this place was used for national museum or royal museums, but today it is open to everybody as a Korean Empire Museum of History. Look outside of this building. The garden of Sok Chun Hall is also made with Western style. And the annex is connected with Sok Chun Hall and it was used as an art gallery during the Japanese invasion. There used to be also a very beautiful and the first Western style garden, but it was damaged so there isn't right now. Please look outside the building again. Can you see that little and black sundial? Look at this picture! This is the sundial created in Joseon Dynasty. Now, I'm going to tell you how to read time with this. As you can see, this is the 24th division of the year. The vertical line is the 24 solar systems and the horizontal line tell you the time. And people read time having the 12 in the middle as a center. Also, one hour is for space. You know that 60 minutes is one hour, right? And if you divide 60 into four, you can know that 15 minutes per one space. So now you can read time, you can read real time with the sundial. If you check the time on your phone, and check time on your sundial, you can know that it is different, right? It's because the Korea is on longitude 127.5, but it is because the time that we are on right now is 135. So we can say that the sundials show the right time. I hope you enjoyed today's tour around Doksung Palace. Do you have any questions? If you don't, let's end our tour here. Thank you for listening to me and have a nice day.